Hi guys, how you doing? Pretty good. Good. What? Yeah. What's your name? Denise. Angel. Angel. Yeah. I met you. What? Uh, uh, maybe last year. Well, last year. And what? What, what we? The, we met you here at the transit center, right? Yeah. And you were going to the hospital for what? To go check if I had cancer. Yeah. Did they had told you before you had cancer? Do you think? Yes. And uh, we prayed, right, that day. Yes. And what was your symptoms? Where did you have the cancer? Was it painful where you had it? Um, yes, I did. It was painful. Where Where was it? My, um, like my uterus. My uterus, huh? So you thought you had cancer. Maybe you're kind of crying, weren't you? Yes. Yes. So I said we're going to pray, and it's going to be all right. Yes. And I was just telling them I, I I crossed the chicken line when I told you that. And then what happened? You came back and said, "Hey, what did they say?" They said that she came out clean by the grace of God. She didn't have cancer. She didn't have cancer. Praise God. <laughs> now, hey, now we got a. Uh, so we just met on the bus stop today, and uh, you're trying to get your children back, right? Yes. And uh, and uh, and really, uh, the case is going against you, right? Right. Yeah. So we pray. We pray today that you'd have favor. Yes. And we're believing you're going to have favor. And in fact, they said you're going to. Did you say Supreme Court? The U.S. Supreme Court. That. Yes, to to fight for um, uh, the adoption process for my other four children. So they've taken the kids away, and probably there's a hard chance of getting them back, right? Mm -hmm. In the yes. natural. Yes, they, they want to take away the baby one and put her up in that process too. Okay, starting well, next week. So next week, because we, yeah, so the, and they yeah, they you, go to trial. and they think they will never change. I would like to say the truth because I can't do the fighting on my own. It's too heavy for me, and God's been speaking to me lately about the trials and that I should be persistent and speak the truth and that He will do the fighting for me. So this is exciting. There's no way in the natural you can win. And this is really kind of the worst thing you can do. And yes. she asked me for advice, and I, in the natural, I wanted to say, go ahead and lie, because they're just doing it. And I wouldn't say that. I come into agreement, and I started saying things. She said, well, God's already been telling me that, Art, right? So we prayed, So, and I'm asking everybody in the state to pray because we're going to get this video done. When they get our kids back, they have a supernatural miracle, and it's going to encourage every person that lost their kids to pray to God, and we'll have supernatural favor because they're daughters and kings of the sun. You know, yeah, does that sound good? Yes, yes. I, I was very fearful for many years about losing my children, but God has told me that He's, he's going to take care of them, everything at his own time, and now is the time. Wow, and, wow. Um, I don't feel scared. Um, I'm trusting in him. All I, I fear for nowadays is our salvation, wherever okay. we're at. And I want to make sure that if I am obedient to him, that he will take care of my children wherever they're at. He would, he will, will. Hey, do you, both you guys speak in tongues too? No, I don't. No, do you guys want to speak in tongues? Yes, yes. You, One time I did wake up to me speaking in tongues. Well, you know, I'm really great in getting people to speak in tongues. Really? I mean, really great. I mean, it, it's the easiest I've been thing. I'm praying for that. Okay, well, can we do this right now? Oh. <laughs> now, watch this, and it'll tell people how to do this. Watch this. Now, the biggest thing is speaking in tongues. Why people don't speak in tongues, they get too serious. They close their eyes and they start, and it always blocks the Holy Spirit. So I tell everybody, keep your eyes open and smile. This is going to be fun. <laughs> and when you go into the, this court case, you're going to, I want you to speak in tongues before you in, in the hallway and go in and have fun. I guarantee you, I, this will work supernatural. You, there's nobody going to stand against you. I tell you, this is super. You guys want to do for it right here? Yeah, I'll try that. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, now, uh, you know what a water well is, how your how you water pump is? Yeah. You yeah. pump it up and down, right? And, and if you stop pumping, where does the water go? Yeah. It goes back down. But there's water there, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, the Holy Spirit is in your belly, not your head. You understand? Oh, yes. So, And your mouth is the pump. Yes. So if you keep pumping, the water has to come up if you don't quit. But if you quit, it goes. the Holy Spirit's still there because you got the Holy Spirit. Yes. But if, if you, So you got to keep your mouth going. That's your faith statement. Now, it's sort of like you, you ever uh, car ever run out, out of gasoline and you want to try to get it started, so you put some gasoline in the carburetor? Yeah. 
and that's because it, it kind of sucks the the gas out, gets you going, and then go in. Well, I will be the uh, I will be the pump. I will be the prime. So I'll speak a few words if you need them, and if you need the words, just go ahead and use them. Copy my words until you get going and you get your own language. Okay, now, all right, now, the biggest thing we do, we're going to keep, we're going to keep our eyes open, we're going to smile, we're going to have a good time, and then we're going to let the words just bubble up out of your belly, not your head, okay? And you just got to keep your mouth going. Are you ready? Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Baptize me today. And fill me. With the gift of tongues. And fire, fire, fire. I receive you, Holy Spirit. Take three deep breaths. You feel anything in your stomach? Do you feel anything in your stomach? Yes. Okay, that's the Holy Spirit. You're right on three. We'll start speaking. You ready? Remember, smile. One. Two, three. Akala mo hala ikila. Alo mo kihia mo neki. Oli amo kihaliaka. Ikili amo kala mo. Iki amo. Yukuli akatala. Ikili amo keke. Ali alia kalo lilo mo. Ali aka hili amo. Ikili amo ka. More, more Holy Spirit. More fire, fire, fire. You got it. Give it a little louder. Can you feel it in your stomach? Yeah. Keep going. A little louder. A little louder. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel inside? Does it feel pretty good? Well, keep going. I go. You guys speak. Go ahead. <laughs> Woo! Come on! <laughs> Just keep it going. Go ahead. You remember it's coming from your belly, right? Now take a deep breath. Now, as you speak, let it out and start speaking. <laughs> it just bubbles out of your belly. Okay, now, when you go in the court case, I want you to go in in, in, in the court case, in the hall, speak in tongues, but maybe a half hour before you go, and then go in and have a good time. Favor will come to you. Because now you got the Holy Spirit inside of you and working with you. How you feel right now? You feel bees? What are you? Confident. Confident? All right. Well, good. You feel some joy? Yeah. No fear. No fear. All right. That's the Holy Spirit. Now, let's pray as much in this language as you can because it brings power with you. It brings favor with you. You know, that's my speech. I've got this whole video that I did. It's called How I, 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 I Won My First Basketball Trophy at Age 66 with Praying with the Holy Spirit. It racks people up and down. The Holy Spirit is super. I told this story to you guys in the in the Super Bowl, and they want, they they claim this story. I didn't tell them, but I'm afraid I told the same story I told them about the Holy Spirit uh, on this video, and they say they won the Super Bowl because of that with the Holy Spirit. It is an amazing story. It is a Holy Spirit is unbelievable. He is pumped and happy. Hey guys, hey, well blessings on you guys, champions. This is gonna be exciting. We'll finish up this video, right? <laughs> okay. Amen. Hey man, how's, how's the joy feel? Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> my heart actually had been skipping beats, and my head was hurting, and I actually feel my heart beating very, very good. Very your, your heart, your head was, uh, your head was heavy, and was your heart was skipping. My head was hurting for like four days, and my heart had been skipping beats, and my arm, my face was tingly, and um, I had not even told you, but I actually feel better. I don't feel nothing on my head and my heart. I just felt it actually pumping very gently and normal. Wow. How about you? You changed anything yeah. on you? It feels good in the inside of my stomach, the way that I cleaned the, the tongues. I felt like it felt pretty good. Felt pretty good, huh? Your head, okay. It's so good. Let me just pray for you. Fire, 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 
fire, fire, fire, all over these champions. Fire, fire. Unleash your glory, Father, right on side of them right now. Unleash your glory, your glory, your glory in Jesus' name. How'd that feel? Did you feel that? Yes, yes. You got to... <laughs> Wow, bless him, Lord, bless him, bless him, bless him, joy, 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 bless him, Lord. <laughs> hey, you got the E-Cube, you like that? Yeah. yeah, I showed him that too today. Hey, God bless you, champions. <laughs> Call me up, my number's on the track, and uh, let me know how you, uh, 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 your victory, okay? Okay. All right, God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.